Here's my smaller bee smithy. I offered this one a pinhead cricket. And uh, we'll see if uh, this one will eat it for later. Uh, to, I don't ever have any luck getting this one to take down food on camera. But uh, doing real well, as you can see. All right, I'll check on that one later. Next. This is where my Phonopalma calcotes is, deep in the burrow. I put a cricket in there. And uh, we'll see if there'll be a takedown. But uh, haven't had luck getting this one to eat on camera either. But uh, as far as I know, it's doing just fine. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a little bigger than my last bee smithy. All right, next. Good luck ever seeing this one on camera. This is the uh, lair of the Polynobius muticus the uh, king baboon uh, it's all the way at the bottom so what I'm gonna do is uh, put a uh, cricket in there and uh, it'll hunt it down when it's ready of course it would be nice if we could get that on camera but I'm not gonna hold my breath Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's doing just fine. It's just hanging out at the very bottom. I don't know if we'll ever get to see this one on camera, but... Oh, maybe someday. <laughs> Alright, next. This is my Parafyza parvula. Still has not molted. And, uh, not eating. So I'm just going to give it some water. And we'll go from there. All right, next. Out of all of my baby teas, this is the only one I've been able to get to uh, eat on camera. This is the uh, Gramostola poker peas. Choco golden knee. That's a good size for you. <laughs> Got a little spooked there. Alright, well, I'll leave it in there and check on it later. Doing real well. Next. Here's my Vicularia Vicularia. This one really prefers crickets. <laughs> I'm going to put another one in there. Those were kind of small. Or I'll just give it to it. <laughs> you don't mind taking two, do you? Of course not. A very good eater. Beautiful tea. Very good for beginners. Awesome. Alright, next. My Nandu Chromatis is being antisocial today. You may recall in the last video uh, she gave me a threat posture. Wasn't in the mood to be bothered. So, let's see if I could find the worm in here.
Whoopsie. Never fails. As soon as I'm trying to get the worm out, that's when she attacks. Well, I'll give her a cricket, see if she'd rather have that. Although these crickets are a little small for her. Well, Fruitcake, you're disappointing your audience today. Yes, you are. Okay, maybe not so bad. <laughs> I guess uh, she prefers crickets today. Well, that cricket's mighty small. I don't have any large ones. Just medium and small. And fortunately, these are only snacks. Okay, well, she took it. <laughs> That's all she wanted was she just wanted crickets. That just goes to show that uh, just like with people, uh, tarantulas like variety. They don't want to eat superworms every day. All right, on to the next one. Here's my Serrata Jaris Brachycephalus. Let's see. I could dig out a nice juicy worm for this one. Let's see. a little wimpy. Let's get a big one. Ah, well, that's a little better. Okay. Ooh, fangs out. Ooh. She got it. Good job, Grungetta. Enjoy your worm. Next. Looks like the uh, Trinochilus muranus left a gift for me. The remnants of her malt. <laughs> Thought I got it all, but apparently not. Look at that. <laughs> Man, she must be huge. She's probably the largest that uh, they get by now. This is an old malt, so she can eat. Okay, she hasn't been uh, sociable lately, like a lot of them are, aren't. 
but uh, most of these like to stay burrowed. But sometimes you get lucky enough that uh, to have one that likes to be out in the open all the time. Now this one prefers to stay burrowed most of the time. So, let's see if I can entice her out with a worm. That is, if I could get the worm in there. Come on, I'm ringing the dinner bell. I know there's a beetle in there too. It never ate its beetle. So maybe it's just not hungry. Well, what a shame. So all we get to see of her is part of her molt, but uh, yeah, she's she's beautiful. All right, well, we'll try again another day. All right, next. Here's the home of my Kilobrachys guansinensis. <clears throat> Took down prey in my last feeding video probably didn't get to see her very well but she was very fast and plus most of her was in her burrow there well I keep trying to find a worm and I'm finding all these small ones I guess this one will work see if that'll lure her out. Just like with my uh, Trinochilus muranus, uh, I don't see this one very often. Hoping to lure this one out so you could see her. Come on. We want to see you. Huh. Not having much luck, are we? Oh well. She'll get it later. Alright, next. Looks like somebody wants a drink of water. I have two tarantulas left. This is my uh, Grandma Stola Rosea. <clears throat> Has not been eating. So today I'm just going to give her some water. But first, I need to get her out of the way. Alright, don't be mean. Most of the time she's nice, but she has her moments. 
Okay, thank you. Now we could give you some water. There you go. She's a sweetie. Yeah, you are a sweetie. Drink your water like a good girl. <laughs> All right, stay tuned for the final tea. And of course, the Kilo Brachys Guancinensis decides to come out once I stop the camera. <laughs> but uh, there she is. I just know as soon as I open the lid, she'll run back into her burrow. So that's why I'm doing uh, recording this outside of her enclosure. But yep, yeah, there's a look. Looking good. Hope you get your worm. All right, next. All right, final tea in my collection. The Therifosa Blondie. This is a tea that I really want you to see. So I'm gonna lift up its hide. I don't do this often, but I really want you to have a look at this one. I'm gonna look very closely here and see if it is indeed a blondie and it does appear to be um, because I do see some hairs on the patella. Uh, the camera may not show them but uh, I'm seeing them. So this does indeed appear to be a uh, Therifosa Blondie. This is the first time I've been able to get a real close-up look because uh, when I first got her I didn't want to uh, bother her um, since it was her first day back I'm at first day here so her abdomen might be turning just a little dark but it's not quite there yet but uh, this does appear to be a Therifosa blondie someone was asking me whether it was a stermy and uh, but I am seeing hairs on the patella so looks good to me hopefully it's a female I uh, haven't been able to get a ventral shot yet, but uh, I'm going to offer this one a worm now that we've gotten a good look at her and uh, see if she's interested in food. <clears throat> yes, she was. Thankfully, she hasn't flicked any hairs on me yet. Give her time. She probably will. <laughs> you want another one, sweetie? I really hope you're a female. I ordered a female, but you're not guaranteed to get one from where I ordered it. <laughs> there you go. That a girl. I'm going to call you girl. Even though I don't know. How's that? That good? Now can I put your cave back over you? Can I safely do that? We're going to try. But I uh, just wanted to uh, be uh, certain that this was a blondie. Because sometimes uh, dealers make mistakes with that but uh, I, like I said I don't know if the camera's picking it up but I do see hairs 
so it, it wouldn't have mattered to me though I like both the blondie and the Sturmy they're equally good to me they're equally awesome Normally, I don't like to uh, disturb their uh, homes, but uh, I wanted you to get a good look at her for the first time. Because uh, the very first time I uh, recorded her, it wasn't the best video of her because it was a little dim. And uh, so, I really don't mess with her much. I don't like to stress out my tees. But there we go. All right, girly. I'm going to put your house back over you. And we'll let you eat in peace. All right, guys. Thanks for watching my feeding video, and I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Bye.